About midway through my career, I began doing a lot of children's books. I focused primarily on indigenous cultures of the world. I would travel and absorb as much as I could of the culture prior to doing the paintings. This enabled me wonderful, wonderful experiences with the very people that the stories were about. The recordings you hear in the background I made with the Maasai late at night by the campfire. So for me, the experience of doing a book is gathering as much information as I can and incorporating aspects of that culture into my experience and into the story so that I'm telling the story visually, but also uh, through a sense sensibility, you might say. I've done six Native American projects, this one on the ghost dance and the Paiute prophet Wovoka. I get to, through these paintings, uh, delve into um, new worlds for myself and for the reader. This is a Lakota creation story. Bighorn Medicine Wheel in Wyoming, beautiful place. In Florida, I did two different books on uh, the panther and the endangered American crocodile. Both of these animals are endangered and their habitat is really, really shrinking, decreasing daily. But they are protected and um, there's people, biologists in particular, that are always looking out for them. I was able to go deep into Fakahatchee Stand and the Everglades and uh, canoe around right where they're nesting. This is the one book that I wrote as well as illustrated. It's an Aboriginal Australian Dreamtime story. Here's the Korean edition of it. I really, really was fascinated with Australia. Ancient landscape, ancient people. So connected to the land. This is a Christian creation story. I do a lot of book covers as well. These are just uh, young adult novels, and uh, like this is a paper bird from South Africa. A book on prison poetry. This is a painting I did for the Museum of Civilization on the Duke of Boers. Between projects and also to support the uh, gallery's needs, I paint a lot of landscapes. My palette is very influenced by the, the forest that I'm in, and I like painting forest interiors, so I'm frequently in the shade of the forest as I paint. I do a number of small studies on location and we'll come back to the studio and select the compositions that I feel are most appropriate for a large format painting. Most of my painting is large format in the four foot by four foot range, although I go bigger and smaller. I'm looking for a certain quality of light, a luminosity, a flickering light. So although the paintings are static, there's a sense of movement and rhythm in the counterforms and in the color choices. I enjoy observing water. 
I find that the reflections allow me to simplify uh, the form and flow, flow with the form as I paint. So I really enjoy doing these uh, waterscapes. This is Star Lodge. It's actually a reflection in a sweat lodge, flooded one spring. I do a lot of large format paintings of my pond, so at least once a year I do a large pond painting. And I really enjoy the color of early or late afternoon sun on snow. I spend a lot of time in the forest at these times of day just to capture these fleeting moments of sun splashing on snow and giving these incredible color com contrasts. I tend towards sort of what I call cultural abstracts in my abstract. Because I was an illustrator, I like a lot of information and a story in the background of any, any image I create. So even my abstract paintings have this layered depth of uh, meaning and of uh, imagery. I like texture in my work, so there's frequently many applications of gesso and then dry brushing colors on top of that. Often I use text, words. I also sculpt in steel, which influences my painting, and my painting influences the sculptures. Often my brush strokes are quite calligraphic. I like strong composition. In my sculptural three-dimensional work, I incorporate found objects in an assemblage sort of fashion. Again, I'm telling a story with these images, but giving them a, uh, a new life and a validity in their visual representation. It's a large piece I did for the SGI uh, show, in, an art show in Ontario. This is uh, three pieces, mind, body, and the final one is spirit, that I did for a uh, large installation in a client's home. So these three pieces were suspended on a large sort of totem pole, and there was a 14-foot painting, a full-size kayak, very, very old kayak, and a four-foot elk hide drum at the top that represented the moon and was illuminated from within. Very dramatic piece. It's a showpiece uh, for their house. I also do large room wrap paintings. So this is a big industrial wall that I did for a lobby of a company where there's cutouts for the monitors. Here's a painting uh, that's going to be a music wall eventually, so I'll design it 
then I cut out and then install the monitors and everything. So this is a lobby of a business. This is a large nine foot painting I did for a client who required a strange shape to fit into his geometric uh, house. There it is installed. Quite a large piece. So the hub of my work is my gallery in Alton, Ontario. And uh, drop by sometime. It's a neat gallery. It's a great event space for concerts or weddings. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit like if you can. Thanks for watching.